Hey everyone, welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. It is week 132 and we're talking about auras. Um, do we do anything with them in our practice? What are our thoughts on it and whatnot? So for me, I do believe that auras exist. Um, do I really work with them? Not really. <laughs> um, some have suggested this unique thing I can do might fall under the aspect of auras because auras don't have to just be um, visual energy you see because auras are energy around people. Uh, they can be audible. Um, they can be tangible sometimes. Um, it's it, Different senses can interpret it. <laughs> so what I can do is when I hear someone's voice, I, for whatever reason, um, and it can change, um, sense a part of their body, if that makes sense. Um, like say friend A talks to me on the phone. This is better. Like if it's like live camera or in person, but I hear their voice and then I get the sense of something about their shoulder or their earlobe or something like that. It's very weird. I don't know what it means. It could be a blocked chakra. It could mean that there's something wrong with it. I have not really delved too deep into it. Um, it's bizarre and I haven't ever come across anybody else that has something similar. Um, but that's my thing. And have I ever seen auras? Yeah, kind of, but it's one of those things because I'm legally blind and have damaged retinas. Um, and I know that with the blind community, we see what are called actual auras, um, by the medical community. Um, uh, because of damaged cells in the eyes. Um, and it's hard to say if that legit is because of the damage or if it's more woo woo. <laughs> ah, my nose is still itching. Um, so I can't really say if it's, if it's medical or spiritual that I can see it occasionally. Um, but it's not an everyday thing or a very common thing. Anyways, sorry. Um, I know the scientific community do tests, um, and I can't give you any sources because it's been years since I've read up on these things, but they can, um, I can't remember, they use either special cameras or x-rays or something and special lights, and it does show um, energy auras around people, like, on a scientific level. So <laughs> it isn't out of the realm of possibility that people can actually see auras. You know, it's, it's interesting, and that kind of satiates my former atheist mind of scientific facts to prove things. So <laughs> anyways, that's about all I gotta say on this topic today. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.